Hi everyone, I'm Paul from The Barbecue Guy. Today I want to show you how I make barbecue baked beans. Now this is a recipe from Three Little Pigs uh, by Chris Marks uh, and I believe it's a family recipe which uh, I'd like to share my take on that. It's slightly different to what Chris does but uh, it, it still turns out absolutely amazing. Uh, So firstly, we need to add some uh, Aussie baked beans, SPC. I'm gonna have two teams of, of normal baked beans. We're gonna have two tins of Heinz sausage and beans. Now these just give a bit of extra, the, the sauce is a little bit different to the normal baked beans. So the mixture of the two sauces is really nice. If you want, you can actually dig the little sausages out and, and chop them up. Um, I've done that. Um, it's funny, one of my classes, the, the guy goes, what are those things? They're the size of the beans, but they taste like sausages. <laughs> And I go, they are sausages. I just chopped up the, uh, chopped, up the chopped up the sausage and beans. So uh, red kidney beans, again, Australian product. Um, now these are, are rinsed. Um, I have one onion pre-browned and cooked to go in here. Now I have one and a half capsicum. Now I've decided to use different color capsicum. So there's a, a red, green, and a yellow capsicum in here. Now, <coughs> start by, you can mix that together. The colors are absolutely amazing. You, you get so much in there and there's so much flavour in there with the fresh capsicum. Um, to make it even better, what we do now is we're going to add some barbecue rub. So because it's a Three Little Pigs recipe and I love Three Little Pigs, uh, Three Little Pigs touch of cherry. Now this adds a sweetness to it, which means there's, there's no extra sugar. Now you go quite heavy with that. Um, championship. You don't have to do as much on that. And then three little pigs championship sauce. Give it a good shake and then pour it over the top. And you do it to taste. So you, you get this all ready and Beans don't actually need to be cooked. The sausages are pre-cooked in there. So you really don't need to, to taste, to uh, cook it or heat it before you eat it. This is actually for one of my barbecue classes that I'm running today. I do this in all of my classes. Now, there's one more thing that I add. Now Chris adds um, browned beef mince as well as bacon, but I just add bacon. So I've got three full rashes of bacon here. It's just what I had in the fridge. It doesn't have to be three, it can be four, it can be two, it can be one, whichever you prefer. Um, and then just dice that up. You get to see my poor dicing skills here. I'm not a... Uh, a chef, but I like to cook. Just turn it around. If you want, you can just buy 
diced bacon from the supermarket. It's the same, works out to be the same thing anyway. Um, now this will go into the smoker and it'll take probably an hour and a half to two hours for it to warm thoroughly. So I'm gonna put this in now and it'll be ready in almost perfectly two hours. And that's our uh, bacon for our for our mix. Again, bacon's actually pre-cooked, so you don't need to add, uh, don't need to pre-cook the bacon. All you need to do is just thoroughly mix it through. As you can see, there's the, there's the sausages there. You can actually chop them up if you like, but you don't have to. Right, guys, it is literally as simple as that. For this, I go through it again for you. So for this, I've used three half capsicums, a red, a yellow, and a green, and they've been finely diced. One whole onion, finely diced. Three Little Pigs Championship rub and sauce. Three Little Pigs Touch of Cherry. For the sweetness, we have two tins of Heinz sausage and beans, excuse my fat fingers and two tins of the Heinz Aussie bridge tomato baked beans and one tin of the Agile red kidney beans rinsed thoroughly before you put it in. Righto guys, I'm Paul from The Barbecue Guy. Make sure you uh, check me out on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Hope you have a great day. Happy barbecuing and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.